Hey you wonderful nerdy people, my name is Emily and welcome to my channel. As my channel's name would imply, I am a huge nerd. I was a nerd in high school, I was a nerd in college, and now I am a grown-up nerd. Um, some of my nerdy interests, or just interests, you know, in general, <laughs> include uh, history, theater, musical theater specifically, uh, Harry Potter, Disney, crafting, and DIY. I've participated in about four years of NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, uh, where you sit down in November and endeavor to write a novel of 50,000 words or more. I have won, which just means I hit 50,000 words, three out of four of those times. Um, one of them was completely fictional, one of them was historical historical fiction, and the other one that hit 50,000 was um, about working at a renaissance fair, which is something I did for six years. Um, my husband and I met doing a renaissance fair. I had three different characters over the course of six years. Uh, one character I only played for a season, another character I played for two seasons, and the final character wrapped up my time at that fair with three seasons as her. I did a few different things while I was there. I was a stage manager for a show, I assistant directed, I directed <laughs> um, joust cheerleading which is really something that you, you can only say if you're a nerd. <laughs> um, and I was one of the leads in an ensemble kids show, but out of the cast uh, in the kids show, I was one of only two that spoke. And that was me and the villain, um, which was really cool. So without further ado, let's get into this video. As a tribute to the Disney damsels, I will be doing their ear tag video. Now the reason I chose their video uh, and their ear tag to do is because two months ago, Rowan, who is super sweet guys, if you are a small shop and you are hoping to get your name out there, give her a message on Instagram. I will link uh, Disney damsels down below. and. Just tell her that you're interested to send some ears to her. She's really sweet, and uh, she she messages back pretty quickly, especially when it comes to ears. Come on, Rowan, we know you love them. Um, okay, so let's get on to the video, right? My first pair of ears that I bought um, were my ears that I bought for my honeymoon. Now, my husband and I have been married for almost two years now, and we went on a Disney honeymoon. I wasn't planning on buying any ears. I had made a bunch, but I saw these in the ear shop right by PhilharMagic, and I caved and I bought them. And let me tell you, it was like the best decision on that honeymoon to buy these. Um, the amount of Disney magic that comes when buying a pair of Disney honeymoon ears, you, you can't even begin to explain it. Come on, as a small shop owner, I have to give my love to my small shops. Guys, it, the amount of work that goes into making a pair of Disney ears, let alone a small shop collection of Disney ears, is insane. Uh, especially if you, like me, uh, actually sew your ears. And if you're doing like invisible stitching, not many machines do that very well. So it's a lot of hand sewing. You're using different materials and your time and everything. A standard pair of ears takes me anywhere between an hour to three hours to make. And uh, my Hocus Pocus ears, for instance, take me about four hours and that does not include dry time for the paint that goes on it. So ears take some time to make and people who are willing to put their art and 
their craft and everything into a pair of ears, they deserve all the love in the world because that is not a small task. Currently, and I think this is a small number, but I know my husband will disagree with me, currently I only own 12 pairs of ears. I would like that collection to go up. I don't want to exceed 50. I probably will eventually, but I currently only own 12 pairs, which isn't bad, especially when you consider the fact that I've had my small shop for about a year and a half and I've been collecting Disney ears for almost two years. We're averaging currently like six pairs a year, which is still a lot. Nope, I want about 50. I currently have 12. I'm going to split this question into two parts. I'm going to have two favorite pairs. Um, one of them is a pair that I've made. One of them is a pair from Disney. My favorite pair of Disney made ears are these beautiful Maleficent ones. They just have really great detail in the ears and the bow is this pleather material, this vinyl-y pleather material. Um, it has this great gem in the center. It even has uh, some embroidery detail that says spellbound beautiful pair of ears. Love them. It was another day where I wasn't totally expecting to buy a pair, but we were in Disneyland. I didn't have any ears with me. And my husband looked at me. He's like, you have a gift card. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. So I ended up getting these. Um, my other favorite pair of ears is a pair that I made and I brought with me on my last Disney trip. These are my autograph ears. Now, my only regret with these is that I didn't have them in Epcot with me. We had a day and a half in Epcot. The full day was a dapper day and I wasn't about to bring these with me. And then the other day was, when I say a half day, I mean even less than that. We literally left the Magic Kingdom on our first day there, ran, to uh, the monorail, got on the monorail, switched uh, trains so that we could go into Epcot, and then speed walked over to the American Pavilion because Joey Fatone had his last day at the Eat to the Beat concert, and your girl wasn't missing that. So needless to say, I wasn't meeting any characters that day, but I did get some, I got three auto four autographs. I got four autographs. Um, you'll probably understand why I said three originally. But I got four autographs. The first day there, um, Gaston autographed the ears. And then that was followed by Anastasia and Drusilla autographing them. And to be completely honest, I was perfectly fine with the idea of just having villains autograph these, especially since I didn't get Belle. But then we were passing by Mary Poppins. And I really like Mary Poppins. Like, order of favorite Disney female character is probably Belle, Maleficent, Mary Poppins, stepsisters. Um, so I had, I had to get Mary Poppins to sign it. We got in line just in time. They literally cut us, cut the line off right behind us. And she was amazing. She gave Julie Andrews a run for her money. Um, but yeah, she signed them right there. And as she was signing them, she asked if I had made them, and I told her that I did. She was so complimentary. She told me that she would have to tell Bert about me and that I could absolutely help him with some of his inventions. She was just really sweet. And these are probably my favorite because of the memories attached to them. Because 
when you have great character interactions, there's really nothing that can beat that. So I prefer puffy ears or wire ears, and I am drawing a distinction between wire ears and flat ears because wire, they're completely different beasts. Um, you have at, like pretty much no canvas to work with when it comes to wire ears, except for the one that you create out of wire, which is not easy to do. Or with the puffy ears, you have a lot of canvas. And then you have the flat ears and those, they don't offer as much of a canvas as the puffy ones. And I don't know, I don't really like them. I don't really own any. The flattest pair of ears I own are my Haunted Mansion ones that I made. And these were just like a test pair of ears. Um, it was the first pair I used my Cricut with. And on the front I have Madame Leota with hurry back, hurry back on it in this uh, difficult to kind of see. I don't even know if that's being picked up, but this difficult um, sort of translucent hollow um, vinyl. And then on the back using the same vinyl I have uh, Welcome Foolish Mortals and one more hurry back because I do love Leota and I love little Leota. But these are the flattest pair of ears I own and they're still puffy. They're stuffed, um, but they are the flattest. Not the biggest fan. Now the most expensive pair of ears I bought, keep in mind, I haven't bought too many. Um, most expensive pair of ears I bought is a toss up between the bridal ones and the Maleficent ones. And they're not even that expensive because they are Disney ones, so they're around $30. At the time I bought them, I think they were a little less than that, but these are the most expensive pair that I have bought. Now, that said, they're not the most expensive pairs that I own. The most expensive pair that I own is a pair that I made myself. For my honeymoon, these are my Kaecilius from Doctor Strange ears. Um, Kaecilius is the villain from Doctor Strange. He's played by Mads Mikkelsen, who tends to be my favorite in anything he does, including Star Wars. He's actually my favorite Star Wars character, or well, he plays my favorite Star Wars character, Galen Erso. And um, the reason these, these would be the most expensive that I own, they're around $50. They light up, they're wire, they're non-bendable um, because of the type of wire that I use. Um, this uh, flower that is made to kind of represent uh, Caecilius's eyes, each of those little rhinestones are hand adhered. Each of the flowers are picked out specifically because they go with his look. And then, like I said, each ear, that one goes down. <laughs> each ear lights up. And because they light up, they are a little more on the pricey side. Turn these off so the batteries don't wear out. Um, but these are my favorite pair of expensive ears that I own and um, are probably the most expensive. The last pair of ears I bought, and you're seeing these a lot, I apologize, I don't buy a lot of ears, um, are my Maleficent ears. It was, uh, it was one of those things where I probably would have had another pair, but in my November trip I didn't really find any that I liked, that I didn't have. So these are the most recent pair that I bought, and that was a year ago. Uh, I do plan on buying more ears, but I'm currently in a bit of a no spend time from January, February, and March. So I'm not buying any, any ears right now, but I do have a list for when I am not in my no spend time.
nerd girl magic. Okay, other than my own. My favorite pair, my favorite Disney small shop, other than nerd girl magic, which I, you know, own, uh, is Anna's Creations by Anna. I will link her shop below. She has a wide variety of very well-made, highly reviewed products. And I am looking forward to being able to purchase a pair from her. At the moment I can't, but in a few months I will. Not really. When I'm feeling nostalgic or I've just made a pair of ears, I will put them on. Now if I've just made them and I put them on, it's really to see if they're well balanced, if there's any adjustments that I need to make. If I'm feeling nostalgic, watching a Disney movie, or just really bored, <laughs> sometimes I will put a pair on. But they stay on only in my room, I don't even wear them outside of my, my room, and then they come off and they go right back on the wall. Yes. I really, really want a pair of 3D printed ears. I've had my eye on them. I really like them. The style's great. I just can't bring myself to actually press buy. I don't know why. I will definitely be treating myself to a pair before my next trip, which will be for my 30th birthday in 2021, but I just, I can't see myself buying a pair of 3D printed ears yet. I really like the Beauty and the Beast ones, and I would love to work with a shop to create a pair of Robin Hood ones. My husband and I, our last name is Hood, and we make it a point to Disney bound as Robin Hood and Maid Marian on each of our Disney trips. And honestly, it makes it a little more memorable each and every time, especially when characters figure out who you are. Like we went to the Crystal Palace on Dapper Day when we dappered as Robin Hood and Marian. And none of the characters really got who we were. However, Tigger, who was the only one we were still waiting for, when he bounced around and came and saw us, he looked at us and then did that for Robin Hood. And, and then he looked at me and he went like this because Maid Marian has that little headpiece. I'm like, yep. Yep, Tigger, you got it. We're Robin Hood and Maid Marian. And he was all bouncy and happy. And then the other character who figured out who we were, um, although Anastasia totally figured out who we were, she just decided that I dressed like her, even though I was carrying a fox purse and had a little Robin Hood and Maid Marian brooch on. And she decided that I dressed like her. Um, but the other character who figured out who we were was Stitch and he was so happy when he figured that out and he's my husband's favorite character well second favorite character his favorite character is Lilo but you can only see her at the Ohana breakfast um but when Stitch figured out that we were Robin Hood and Marion he was quite proud of himself and it was adorable So yeah, there's a little bit about me, about my likes, about my ear collection, which is still growing, and I hope you enjoyed this. I feel like it may have been a little rambly, but you gotta start somewhere, right? So until I post another video, have a magical nerdy day, my friends. Bye.